another beautiful day in picture perfect Parkland County. I'm Drew Sharp, crop inspector, and today we're gonna find some clubber. Okay, so when I get to a field to scout for clubber, the first thing that I do is put on booties. Uh, in my work, I go to many fields per day, and because clubber is a soil-borne pathogen, I don't want to risk infecting any further fields uh, to the disease. So we put on the sterile booties. And enter the field. So, at first when you get to the field, you want to check the approach. Um, the approach is a high traffic area and soil will start to move into the field um, by the approach with the movement of machinery, workers, what have you. Um, a seed drill can hold hundreds of pounds of soil um, and if you're moving those from section to section of infected fields, it can be very easy to inadvertently infect a new section. I like to look for areas of advanced maturity. I also like to take in the topography. Canola zoo spores like to travel through the soil uh, water. They have these fancy little flagella that they actually will swim to root hairs with. So you walk into the field and you just kind of look for, like I said, areas of advanced maturity, plants that are showing symptoms of wilting, stunting, and then you pull a plant and you look for gulls formed on the roots. This is a healthy plant. You can see there's a lot of nice root hairs here. They help increase surface area for nutrient and water absorption. And here we have club root. So I like to knock a little bit of soil off. So you can see here uh, club root gall on the root and so basically what's happened is club root has infected this plant and sent it a signal saying produce auxin. Auxin is a plant growth hormone that causes the root to swell which kind of houses a larger pathogen load. These galls will then break down in the soil once the plant has been swathed, releasing more resting spores into the soil to reinfect next year. Clubber was first reported in Western Canada near the Edmonton region in 2003. Uh, each year, the number of infested fields grows. There is no economically feasible way to uh, remove disease once a field's infected. Uh, therefore, the best way to manage club root is through uh, BMPs or best management practices. More on BMPs can be found on the Canola Council of Canada website or the Alberta Club Root Management Plan, uh, which can be obtained online or through our office. At Parkland County Agricultural Services, we make an effort to scout uh, each canola field per year. Mm -hmm. 